for everyone. There's over a million people in the U.S. who have prosthetics, and they're not exactly that cheap. They cost tens of thousands of dollars. So what is a prosthetic? A prosthetic is defined as a... So people need prosthetics for different reasons, such as congenital amputation, which is amputated at birth, uh, diabetes, and pneumonia. <laughs> and trauma, such as war, or work accidents. And so the definition of a prosthetic is an artificial body part, usually resulting after an amputation. A little history about prosthetics, they were invented in ancient Egypt by the Egyptians, and so they had fake toes and crutches. Eventually you move on to your pirates, who actually had books and peg legs. It was revolutionized by Mr. Hanger, James Hanger. In the Civil War, he had a uncomfortable confrontation with a cannonball to his leg, resulting in its loss. He became the first amputee of the Civil War, and so he didn't want that to send him back. So he locked himself in his tent and decided to invent something that would make his life easier. So he invented the hinging knee. This was a breakthrough in the prosthetic world just because it allowed motion in a prosthetic. And so there was a movie in 2011 about a tale about a dolphin tail, a dolphin named Winter, who washed up on the beach of Florida and was hit by a boat. So she didn't have a tail. And a dolphin that doesn't have a tail is a dolphin that cannot swim, a dolphin that cannot survive. So they brought her in at the Clearwater Aquarium in Florida, and the hanger clinic was actually able to build a prosthetic for this 400 pound dolphin, allowing it to swim to survive. And so it was eventually released back in the wild, and she's still going strong. So, in the words of the great China Montana, say hello to my little friend. <laughs> As he makes his way around. This is Percy. Percy is an eight-year-old pug, and about seven years ago, he fell off the bed of a truck resulting in a need for an amputation. And so, I looked at him and said, I could use this. So I'm using him as a model, not just for his great looks, but also for the principle of something or someone that needs a prosthetic, how can everyone get one? How? What, what can happen to make a custom, durable prosthetic? One out of 3D printer. So, 3D printers work by printing small layers very intricately, creating a custom look. It takes a filament that's a solid, melts it up really hot in the nozzle, and prints it out, which is then cooled, resulting in a pretty durable eye. So, after studying the anatomy and physiology of Percy and other dogs, like so, I was able to design and print a, or design a model that would work for Percy. So after looking, I was able to recreate the ulnar radius and carpals of the dog all together in one fluid print, easier for the printer. And okay, so I'm presenting you the Air Pegasus 3. So this is what it looks like. This is the leg. It has the bones and allows movement of just every sing or every day, dog, walking, sitting, being a good boy, etc. So it's just all the different views. This little air pegs is on the side. And it's in the shape. And 
And so I'm currently in the print process. So this file just basically needs to be uploaded to the printer. It can print out, just the printer here is having small technical difficulties. So. I actually got the chance to go behind the scenes at the Hanger Clinic, same hanger as James Hanger from the Civil War. He has, uh, there's clinics all over the world, and they specialize in prosthetics and orthotics. So I got to see how the pros do it. So this is called hyperrealism, and this is actually a prosthetic. So you can, can't really see it, but it's super realistic. And this is done with a silicone mold of the good limb, and so they make, they make a mold of it, and then they cut it up to make it a mold of the limb they need. Cast out a silicone so it feels just like skin, and then take these long skinny paintbrushes and paint on the inside. So we're going to play a little game here. Here's some left, the right, the right. Are they? Right. No, I'm going to say the right. The right. The right. Well, the right. Well, they're right. Yes. Oh, right. And last one. Did you give him a bunny? <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, that's so right. right. Which one's the fake? The left. 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 The how can we create this aesthetic prosthetic you saw there? Combine it with a working prosthetic. So think about it. Neurotransmitters. There's nerves that run all throughout the body, triggered from the brain, PNS and CNS systems, which is the nervous system which automatically runs through everything. So when you lose a limb, you don't, lo you don't lose the nerve, because the nerve track goes all the way to the brain. So if we already have this, you can now hijack it, resulting in a neurotransmitter. So when you're amputated, doctors nowadays can take the nerve cells, the nerve endings, and implant them into the muscle. Drop in a little mesh to amplify the... <laughs> to amplify the uh, electricity in it. And so whenever, with a little bit of training and some therapy, you can now think about moving it. And that trigger would now trigger the prosthetic. Oh. Okay, keep going. There you go. Is that it? Back. Oh, yeah. Sorry. All right, and so the different electrodes can trigger different motions. It's just moving of the hand, and this makes it easier for everyday life. And so you can combine the neurotransmitter with the aesthetic prosthetic, and so the person next to you might have a prosthetic, and you'll never know that. So just in conclusion, the future is actually here. We live in a sci-fi movie that prosthetics. You don't know if the person next to you has one. And cheaper prosthet or cheaper custom durable prosthetics are now possible. Thanks to three. And special thanks to Dr. Hay, Total Bond Veterinary Hospital. I was able to shadow a couple times. And Mark Elgert, who's a prosthesis at the Hanger Clinic. And Ms. Keith, who just walked out. <laughs> Any questions? Where's the Hanger Clinic? Hanger Clinic's uh, uh, their closest location. They actually have a Lake Norman location. And they also have a Charlotte location. How are you going to attach it to the person? Well, if you go back to the design. Alright, so there's a ladder and a hook. Basically take an elastic band and it loops around one side and then ties in on the other. This way it's like a tight fit so it's able to push on. So are you actually making that? Um, it's, trying to? it's ready to print. But just waiting on a printer and different things, it's, it's a possibility. I think I'll try to get it printed. Do you, do you think, I, I, don't know, I don't know how to ask this question, like, how do they train dogs or you know, animals to be able to walk on a prosthetic? It's not the same kind of physical therapy you would give very a human. <laughs> yeah, there's dog therapy, and it's very similar to regular human physical therapy. Just it uh, takes a little bit longer because... I'm interested. Yeah. They're dogs. <laughs> <laughs> They're good boys. <laughs> do you want to do that? Like, when you're old, you're old. I'd definitely be something. <laughs> 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 <laughs>
Thank you.